back. My name is Annie House. Welcome to my fun and easy tutorials where I teach you to make jewelry. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make glass photo jewelry like the one I'm wearing with inkjet prints, glamour seal, and glamour effects glass. This is a belt buckle. This is a purse hanger and several pendants in different colors and a ring. These are all using a variety of papers. This is uh, wrapping paper of a robot, chiagami paper with a purse hanger. This is Italian uh, decorative paper in this pendant, as well as this finger ring. And these two pendants are using inkjet print. Here we have a ring bezel, uh, pendant trays, also called bezels, the glamour effects glass, inkjet prints, and this is Chiagami paper. You can also use scrapbook paper, Florentine Italian paper, uh, images out of magazines or newspapers. There's pretty much just about any paper that you can use with Glamour Seal. Glamour Seal is the adhesive that you'll use to attach the paper to the glass and then the final product into the trays. You may also want to use a cutting surface, an X-Acto blade, and in the case if you want perfectly punched uh, shapes, you'll want to get the appropriate sized uh, paper punch. I like to use this non-stick back of a, of a label or sticker back. It's the part that will protect my work surface so when I'm working with more than one piece, I don't get goo on the bottom of, of whatever it is I'm working with. So I have my one inch square. I've already trimmed it using a paper punch. And I will take the Glamour Seal and I will apply it directly to the glass like this. I'll spread it around. You don't need too much. And it is white, but it does dry crystal clear. So I have that on the glass. I turn it around and I will press it firmly. This will help remove any bubbles. The bubbles will cause silvery spots in your finished piece. Now this is an inkjet print on matte paper. It's uh, The actual paper is a presentation paper, so it's thicker than your typical printer paper. And it is meant for photos. I like this uh, matte paper much better than the glossy paper. The glossy paper tends to lend itself to the silvery spots more so than the matte paper. So I'm pressing on the back side, pushing down firmly, and this makes sure the paper is adhered to the glass with the Glamour Seal. If I want to or if I seem to be having problems with the silvery spots, I'll take a smooth faced piece of corrugated cardboard, I'll place a clamp on top pressing the glass to the cardboard and then I'll just set that aside and work on another piece. I already have another piece I made earlier today that I did not trim intentionally so I can show you the best method to trim around the paper and get nice clean edges. Sometimes you'll punch the paper and it's, it hangs over the edge a little bit so you can also use this technique if you need to trim around your papers. So this is the same image of an inkjet print and you can see how beautifully that is. It's completely dry. It takes about uh, maybe 15 to 30 minutes to dry and uh, once it has dried you'll know because it's no longer cool on the back side. So I take the blade at a slight angle and I press down part way. I'm kind of scoring the surface and then I press harder. It's important to use a sharp blade when doing this. So I will just continue that around all four sides. Sometimes it takes a third stroke don't worry about thinking that you're going to scratch the glass because you're not. And then this peels up. You can see the Glamour Seal is a little flexible. 
And if you have any extra pieces of uh, paper or if you have glaze, or I'm sorry, the Glamour Seal, or glaze if you choose to use glaze. I don't recommend glaze with inkjet prints. Glamour Seal is the product you want to use if you're using inkjet prints or any other paper. You see how I'm scraping away the excess material from the side of the glass and I'm not scratching the glass. So I've done all four sides and my edges are very clean. Just need to make sure I get all those pieces off. And now I have a beautiful decorated piece of Glamour Effects glass attached to the paper using Glamour Seal that I am now ready to glue into this pendant tray. To glue into the pendant tray, use more Glamour Seal. You can put it in the pendant tray or apply it on the on the back side. You don't want to use so much that it comes up the sides. You spread that around. You can use your finger if you want to make sure that you don't have too much on. Slide that into the tray. Press firmly. And there you have a finished piece. Let that dry. Again, that will take about 15 to 30 minutes, possibly longer depending on how humid it is in your area. If you have a shape that is not quite, you know, we don't have a paper punch for this. Uh, this is an oval shape. I made this earlier. It's also an inkjet print. I've also used Glamour Seal. Again, take your X-Acto blade, score the first time around, and then press firmly. This prevents the paper from ripping. And just carefully watching your fingers work around the curves until you reach the other end. Sometimes it's hard to see where that other end begins and where it finishes. And you work that apart. I like to keep a pair of cuticle scissors specifically for crafting. These are not special scissors. They're, I bought them at a pharmacy somewhere. But I love the curved edge. I love how it hugs the surface of these curved glass pieces. And I'm trimming this excess paper off from the back. And that gives a nice finished look on the back side. If I'm not happy with it, I can continue to trim it. But when you put that into a pendant tray, you're not going to see the difference. Here is the back side. Even though it may not be quite perfect, it's very close to, to perfect. And when I put that into the pendant tray, you're not going to be able to tell that the edges aren't absolutely perfect. So that's how to trim around an uneven or a, a curved edge when you don't have a paper punch. To make a photo pendant or ring or any of the products where you want to glue an image behind glass, you'll want to use some sort of sealant such as Glamour Seal, which is great for use with any kind of paper, including inkjet prints. If you're not using inkjet prints, you can use Glamour Glue, which is a more permanent adhesive. It will not dissolve in water as readily or Glamour Glaze, which also uh, is great for color laser prints or any non-inkjet prints. If you, if you want more versatility, you'll probably want to use Glamour Seal because they will not make your inkjet prints smear. You'll want some sort of bezel, such as these ring bases or pendant trays, Glamour Effects glass inserts for whichever size you choose, and of course, your papers. All of these products and links to other fun tutorials are available on my website at anniehouse.com.